Hello my fellow idiots and welcome back to another episode of An Idiot's Guide. Right, uh, last Pi related episode we got our bots hosted onto the Raspberry Pi. Now, I've recently seen this. Uh, you could probably see by the desktop icon we're going to actually host a music bot. And I'm going to go over a few points but first let's get the music bot. I have a blank J uh, JavaScript file ready, but we're going to be using AO Dude's Oh God Music Bot file. It's literally 99 lines of code and it's a fully functional music bot. But first, we've got to copy and paste all of this in, <clears throat> and we're going to save the file. Now remember I have that thing where it takes a while to save. While that does that we also need to get the example tokens.json file. Okay that's saved. Go new file tokens.json paste. Right okay looks like it's a mixture of tabs and spaces. So yeah, okay. That I need to remove and save. Right. Got this, I need to get my user ID and paste. Right, as first episode, you're gonna see a token, it will be changed by the time this episode has gone up. So new application music bot. Don't need that, don't need that. Create a bot user, yes. Uh token. Remember, that's gonna change. And paste. Right, that's that done. Right. That is everything we need to do on the PC. So, let us get up our interface. And FileZilla. And okay, of course we log into the thing. Right, I am just going to drag and drop the music folder into the Okay, now we need to go cd dot djs bot slash music directory, yep. MPM I had to do a quick edit because I forgot the package file, so I've added it. I'm just dragging it across now. Okay, and we've go to directory again. There we go, so now I can do npm install. I do go over the importance of the package file, and yeah, I've downloaded someone else's bot. They've got a package file, I can install it, no problem. Whilst that's doing, I need to invite my bot to my server. And I need to give it voice permissions. Right. And now, music bot. Let's give it the bot's role. Okay, this is going to take a while, so I will be right back. And we're back. Right. Uh, at this point, people would expect me to install FFmpeg. Uh, no, because FFmpeg doesn't really work anymore. Not with... Uh, over a certain version of Ubuntu and Debian. 
what we're going to use, we're going to use the lib AV tools. So, because it has AV conf, which is another converter, which for the YouTube download core, which is here, is literally a drop in replacement. So, sudo apt get install lib av tools right uh, yes I want to continue right, I will say this even though you can host a music bot on your Raspberry Pi does not mean you should the Raspberry Pi is an impressive piece of kit however you should never use it in my opinion for a music bot for the pure simple fact that it will eat up the memory very fast I mean if I just do pm2 star app dot js name music basically that will start the app with pm2 and I realised I didn't stretch this. And as you can see, music bot just popped up there. PM2 list. Yeah, music bot. Okay. PM2 monet uh, 3. Okay, monet. That is a real time monitor for memory usage and processing power. Now, I haven't really used this music bot, so I don't really know the commands, but uh, here's the like, instructions. And you don't actually need to do all this. There's npm install windows-build-tools, and it'll auto-install everything required without the rest of the bloating. Uh, for Windows, yeah, just ignore that. <coughs> okay, how to run? No, no running. Okay, no running instructions. So we're going to have to look at the server file. Okay, so let me just take a shot. I know what the prefix is. So let's go to general. Actually, no, let's make. Right. Um, I'm back because it's been a few hours since the last last bit but uh, yeah I was just gonna go into general but I'm actually gonna make a dedicated voice channel for the music bot and I'll make a text channel to go with it All right I'm in here let's go there Right. Now let's see. I need. Oh, well, we know the bot's online, but I want to get these up at the same time. Okay, right. I have the commands for the music bot, and there's prefixless commands. The prefix for oh god music bot default is plus plus and these are the commands. So yeah. Right, so we can't really add anything. Well we can't play anything because we don't have anything added. So let me just fire up uh, Google Chrome. Okay, let's go to YouTube. Uh, subscriptions. Okay, we want to grab one song. See, I really like Dr. Vox. So let's grab him. Right. We need to add it to a queue. Add. Okay. 
it should respond in a moment. There we go. It's added it to the queue. Now it won't play unless it's joined a channel. I believe it will auto join. So let's just try. Oh, it will auto join. And as you can see, works straight off the bat. Now. more negatives or positives you apply the quieter it gets so right now let's look at the memory usage see my self bot is using way more but as you can see it's using up at least half the processing power. Now, if this was on multiple applet, you can hear some transcoding problems. Uh, the Pi is powerful. It is really powerful for certain things. And I think this just this monitor just crashed. Yes, it did. Okay, let me just open a new one. But yeah. Wow. It's actually taking up a lot of my resources. I can't even log into the damn thing. So let us... There we go. Right, now I should be able to access it again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, PM2 monitor. Yeah, there is a issue. It need, whilst it's running, if you keep adding songs to the queue, it's going to require more and more and more memory. And if you're running other bots like I am, I'm running. A dock spot for my server. I'm running two self bots, one for my main and one for my alt accounts, and I'm running the music bot right now. See, it all adds up. See, yeah. Raspberry Pis are, are seriously really good pieces of kit that can do all sorts of amazing things. However, with their limited RAM and limited processing power, they are limited. Pies are brilliant for hosting you know, your, your like your, your documentation bots or your star bots or you know your moderation bots and your self bots but they really struggle and drop the ball when it comes to music bots so yeah wouldn't recommend using a uh, a Raspberry Pi for a music bot. But hey, I'm an idiot. What do I know? But yeah, that's all I've got time for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, share it with anyone that's interested in hosting on a Raspberry Pi or is interested in coding a bot or whatever. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now, guys.